And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Minotaur Mind Splitter. Gonna be our last meme tier Monday deck. We have a deck that's built around Minotaur Reckoner and Infinite Mind Splitter, putting these two together. So of course you probably know Infinite Mind Splitter pretty well. Uh, round, you pick two enemies, round start, you're stunning them. All right, so we're stunning two enemies at the beginning of the round. Well, if we compare that with Minotaur Reckoner that has round start, stun the weakest enemy, suddenly at the beginning of the round, we're stunning three enemies every single round by just having these two cards in play. Plus they're huge, six, a 6-6 six, six for six, an 8-8 eight, eight for eight, very large, and so they can end games pretty fast. Um, so what we're gonna have is kind of have like a, a stun deck alongside of those. So we're going to have Arachnoid Sentry. They can stun an enemy. We're going to have Leona that every time we play the Daybreak, or whenever we play Leona, stuns the strongest enemy. Then every time we play a Daybreak, stun an enemy. And just basically try to stun all their stuff, not let them block. We'll have a, a Katarina in here that can give us extra attacks if they have a bunch of stunned things. So you can attack multiple times. A couple Zenith Blade to be able to give Overwhelm. That should work out well with Minotaur Reckoner and Infinite Mind Splitter because they are very large, but they don't have any Overwhelm. And so Zenith Blade can help that out. Kind of, It can also give Overwhelm to the Robin. Um, and then, you know, we got our, our, our early Daybreak cards to help Leona. Uh, we have Bastion in here because both Minotaur Reckoner and Infinite Mind Splitter, you want to be able to untap with them. You don't want to like spend eight mana to play this card and then they kill it right away. So we want to have Bastion as protection for both of those. Glory Seeker is going to be just basically like a removal spell for us um, that could also like challenge like if we're stunning like maybe three things maybe Glory Seeker challenges like what like the fourth thing that we're not stunning and then we have our other units be able to get through so that could work out too so this could be our deck Minotaur Mind Splitter <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen Minotaur Reckoner and Infinite Mind Splitter together but this is what we got all right so we're going to just play it over in normal because it is meme tier Monday today and so we'll see how we do over there with five games. Looks like we're playing against some aggro. All right, we're gonna mulligan the six mana card. And I guess Solari Priestess, so we just have our three, four for, for defense right away. Do like the Solari Priestess, but, um, and I like the Minotaur Reckoner, you know, but we need to have early defense. I'd like to draw Ravenous Flock. That would be the best card that we could draw. Where it would be good use of the one extra mana we don't have right here. Ravenous Flock. No. So we could... We could just pass. We don't have to play Arachnoid Sentry. Where I could... If I don't play Arachnoid Sentry, we can have Leona plus some other defensive cards next turn. Hmm. Alright, Draven. Draven's scary. So we're going to stun the 2-2. Attack. on Draven. So we see Ravenous, you can see why Ravenous Flock would have been our best draw, because last turn we would have stunned and killed the Draven, or this turn, stun kill Draven. Which, yeah, they could have used the Spinning Axe on either one of these three twos. I guess they didn't want to, I guess. Huh. I guess they, <laughs> yeah, they didn't want to, and I had too much early defense, and they just wanted to go to the next game. Ooh, mid-range frostbite. That deck's really good. So let's see if we can stun him. We're definitely going to want to level up our Leona pretty quickly because Leona dies to Culling Strike, and that's rough. I'm just going to keep this hand, actually. We could mulligan the Minotaur Reckoner, but I don't know. I like Minotaur Reckoner quite a bit. And we already have things to be doing in the early turns anyway. I like the Bastion to be able to protect against a Culling Strike for something like Leona. Is the one true light. Get him, soldier. Devotion to battle. 
I do want to get rid of this Omen Hawk somehow before Reckoner. Cool. Because <laughs> I don't want, like, you know, stun the weakest enemy. I don't want to be stunning Omen Hawk. I want the, you know, I want to be stunning something a little bit better. Now, Infinite Mind Splitter and Katarina are both definitely our late game cards. It's a good Omen Hawk hit. So, if I knew I would have had those two cards, I probably would have mulliganed to the Minotaur Reckoner. So, this would draw. I guess. Meteor Shower? Meteor Shower kills Ash. Yeah. The other card would draw a lot bigger Leona. Butcha. So they play something, then I'll be able to play Leona, because then they won't be able to Culling Strike this turn. And next turn I can have my Bastion available. We kind of need one extra mana. Oh, maybe I'll just do this. Never mind. We're just going to kill Ash. So yeah, I need one extra mana right now. To be able to have Leona plus Bastion. Perfect. Let's play this. Keep our three extra mana. I don't know. Warrior, I guess. Bask in her radiant blessing. Faster than my arrow? I think not. These stories were true. I like having a Reckoner uh, plus Bastion. I like that. Swiftly now. Believe or burn. Yeah, that's just how it's gonna be. Okay. So they're scared of Ravenous Flock. That's why they would do that. The finest serve. Mm. Stiff, huh? Unyielding light. So I'm thinking, like, warrior try to kill Ash. That's why we need Bastion. Stop the, them calling strikes. If they have Troll Chant, that'd be real rough. I thought you'd run. I yourself. Good, no Troll Chant. Wow. Wow. Okay. Huh. They did have Troll Chant. I'm getting warmed up. I guess it makes sense to be able to use that to keep Ash alive, I guess. Stand together. The guilty would bear. Puts me down to three. Face me. Down to six. Go down to six. Let's just go down to five and kill this thing. That probably makes more sense. Gonna be a close game. The time is right. Strike now. Wow. My aim is true. I wasn't expecting them to have an, another flash, another spell like that. Because if they, like, why did they just do that originally and then attack and then I couldn't block with either of my zero power things? I think they probably would have just killed me. That's a surprise. I, I like blocking the three. Power thing with my Minotaur Reckoner to keep it at four health, so they can't brittle steal Minotaur Reckoner. That's what I'm thinking there. Get a Mind Splitter. We fight for one Freljord. All right, it's done three things right away. So 
I go Leona, stun another thing. I guess it'd be better to go Robin first, Robin then Leona. Should I just go Zenith Blade? I'm also I'm also definitely considering going with the Katarina. Attacking with it, but. Our sun will not set today. Let's play the Robin. Let's get this in play. I don't think Bastion stops that from frostbiting my. Oh, let's see. No, it'd only frostbite this card, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I'm. I was, you know, thinking that that was gonna be frostbiting everything, and then I remember what Crystal Arrow does. Um, yeah, they're just probably playing that for that. Because uh, reckoning, reckoning wouldn't be that bad. Even if they reckoning away Leona, it's still not that bad. The dawn has arrived. May it never leave. The sun's splendor revealed. Only two cards. Show them the way. And one of them was Omen Hawk. Yeah, let's tag with Mind Splitter. Yeah, I could have done that with the... Yes, I could have done that with playing two Katarinas and getting an extra attack this turn. I thought you'd run. Alright, so we'll stun that, stun that. They replaced the other thing that Mind Splitter would have stunned. Trap is set. I'll take the obliterate. Glorious light rains down. Stun that. <laughs> I guess Ash does not need to attack for its for Ash's ability. Never So, hope that card for them is Harsh Winds. Because if it's not Harsh Winds, they in trouble. So withdrawing, especially withdrawing, so I'm worried about, um, okay, so basically I'm wor with Morning Light, I'm worried about like Harsh Winds and stuff, so I really like this Pill Cascade, so like, even if they Frostbite my Katarina, I can still Pill Cascade it, pick it up, and attack again, and so just gonna go with this, give, you know, have these have Overwhelm, and we can see how our deck just shuts them down. Yeah, why, why would I not just attack with everything? Let's just attack with everything. Tread carefully. Stay back. Over there. The time is right. Strike now. Yeah, that's gonna be game. We'll be able to replay Katarina, get another attack. So that's what our deck does. Just play defense and then have Katarina finish it out. No one gets in my way. Perfect. They walked around. Let the bloodshed begin. Alright, GG's. 
We could play the Glory Seeker and kill Ash too if we wanted to. But that's fine. So maybe add another cat if it's going to be the win con. I think having the one, I think having the one cat is a really good number of cat arenas to be playing. Because as you can see there, like whenever you get to that point in the game, the one cat arena finishes the game out. But we were probably like even without that cat arena, we were almost certainly going to be winning that game. So it's not really a necessity. So I think that just having one is is good because you don't really want to like have multiple cat arenas early on. Ever. That can cost you games with not being able to play the cards that you need to play. So I'm not sure if I should mulligan Bastion. We're keeping the Ravenous Flock with us having all these other stun things. I like Glory Seeker as a good removal spell, especially against like Maokai. Like a Glory Seeker killer Maokai. I don't know. I kept Bastion, but I am kind of regretting keeping Bastion. See, this would be a problem like if you draw more than one Katarina early. You really don't want it. Mm. I need to play the Glory Seeker and let it die to Vile Feast. Don't need that to happen. Oh. We do have Hush in our deck. They'll never know what killed them. We have just the one hush, I think. We have just the one hush. Lady Elise, where are you? The power of the immortal sun. Just the one. Ask and the light's radiance. sense. All right, maybe shouldn't have blocked. No, drawing the second Zenith Blade is the worst thing to draw. Now we can't daybreak and grab the other overwhelm. It doesn't really matter which way to attack with that. We're gonna be killing that thrash. So the good news is we can't draw any more Zenith Blades. Just naturally, so that's good. Ooh, love the sunburst. Some burst can get rid of that, the undying. Grow up so, fast. so that's definitely good. Yeah, I had a couple of four ones today, Jack. And starting off strong with this deck as well. Right, before they use something else to sacrifice this, they can still have Glimpse Beyond. Ugh, that's the one I did not want to see. That was like their only card that they realistically be playing to save that. That's really too bad. Let's 
as well. I like drawing that card. Is the one true light. Let's just pass. Okay, another Robin. Hopefully this works. Hopefully no glimpse beyond, please. Dang. <laughs> Spell shield. Daylight surrounds you. So the very best case scenario, we go down to two. Oh, thank you. We needed this Leona real bad. Oh no. Um. From every fallen, a new seed. I guess that's just game. Was never late collector. Shine like the sun. You must burn like it. Chosen of the sun. Yep, GGs. We take exactly three, and I can't do anything about it, can I? No. Um, I guess I guess I can. Okay, so we go. Let's see. Block here. Block here. Blocking these things and not blocking these things are the same, basically. Let's see, we can block those. Ravenous block, my own 6-2. We go to 1. Alright. Go down to 1. So if they have any way to kill their own thing, obviously we die. But hopefully they don't. And my plan here... My plan here is to cast Zenith Blade on... I don't know, Robin. And then and stun the Neverglade. And then Ravenous block and kill the Neverglade. So... I could still possibly survive, but obviously they can kill me with literally anything. What deck impressed me the most? Probably the Swain's Rage. That's probably the deck that was the most impressive, I would say. A beam of light to pierce the heavens. Yep, so it looks like they have a way to sacrifice. Just give me a little bit more time. Just let me kill this. No, they weren't sacrificing that. They were obliterating it. Uh, so close. You know, like those flock, just having multiple flock, multiple zenith blade that didn't did not work out. Not do much with two flock two zenith blade. And the pill cascade they had was great. The bastion they had was great. G G Z Taric. Maybe I should mulligan both Robin with doing nothing before turn three. But Z Taric doesn't usually do a whole lot before turn three anyway. I'm glad they do not have the attack token on turn three. A little luck for those who need it. Right? No, actually it would be better if they did. I could stun them. Because they can play Zed on my turn three and then go to their turn three and attack immediately. But actually, that's worse for me. Alright, pass. If they want to play Zed, we kill it. If they want to pass also, that's cool. We don't need to get this 1-2 in play right now. Good card. I am truly honored, Protector. You honor me with every blessing you give. Daylight breaks on the battlefield. So I could see them playing Behold Bastion. The sun's holy light. Okay, no. No Bastion. 
So now Bastion. And I'll have like Glory Seeker to be able to challenge it. Nope, just took it down. So going with the Solari Priestess and the Trifarian Glory Seeker combo. I am truly honored, Protector. You honor me with every blessing you give. Glory Seeker is good. Boo. All right, past turn, I suppose. I am the blade in the darkness. All right, Zed's scary. Shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. All right, we stun in. Okay, nine mana. We're going to have this plus Hush. So if they have Bastion, we have Hush. So I want to do this first so that then I can attack with like all my 3-2s. Only don't draw a card. That doesn't save it. We get silenced. For beauty. All right, GG's. Gotta learn about silence sometimes. Will be written in the heavens. It's been a little while since I've been playing a Leona deck, but this Leona deck's been pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, the shame surrender. That'll do, but you know, now they know for next time not to do that. So, Alright, we got double Solari Soldier, Zenith Blade, Ravenous Block. Let's get rid of the Zenith Blade. And. I mean, I like Ravenous Block a bunch if we could find our stun stuff. I don't know. I kept Ravenous Flock that other time, that other game that we lost, and it really hurt. That I, the fact that I kept it. So we'll see. But we have, you know, we have the six cards. We have the three Leonas and three Arachnoid Century. So we have six early stun cards that make Ravenous Flock look really good. No mercy for heretics. Hmm. I'll just pass. I'll just keep the spell mana. Ours is the one true light. Get this as a three three. Hmm. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. I know. PNZ does need some some better cards. That's that's true. Devotion to your mind. I can still play Zed. Can't stop him though. Do not fear the shrouded path. Great card to have. That blinding assault. Rest the people and fear the heretics. So punish for keeping ravenous flock. My shield is yours. Not looking like it's doing much. Exactly what I was hoping they would do. Ben. 
That's exactly what I was hoping they would do. And we'll pass. I'm not going to play the Katarina yet because we don't get to play the Blade's Edge. I want to be able to play that Blade's Edge. Which I could do right now. I could go Katarina and then Blade's Edge and kill the Fleet Feather Tracker. Um, but with having double flock... Does make me want to keep the Blade's Edge to be able to pair with flock. I could have passed to them and see if they would play something I needed to kill. Um, no closer. Press on. But I'm just gonna do this. And no, I don't. I don't mind trading Robin for two of their cards. Oh gosh, that's awesome. They could just challenge it the next turn. Well, that is awesome for me. We just trade it with three cards. That is awesome. Well, this is Probably said that already. My faith protects me. I'll be very surprised if we lose this game from here. Good play by them. I wanted to play my Katarina last turn, but I couldn't play it anymore um, since they passed by not attacking. <laughs> you pretty stunned how good our deck was at Cabo? You're covered. Yeah, that's why you play great one of, so you can draw them. Good. Hey, Bananasaur. The flying Bananasaur. We're doing good. Um, I still just do one damage over here. Attacks anymore. Feel the sizzle, or, I guess I shouldn't tell them that. You cannot sway me. Yep, GG's. Okay, we went four and one. Of course, we do just play our meme tier. Dex over in normal, so it does make it, it does make it the competition a little easier than playing them in masters, uh, for sure. Um, the the best game out of those was definitely against the the frostbite mid range, where we really got to see Minotaur Reckoner and Infinite Mind Splitter do its thing, and then you know Leona and Robin and and all that kind of stuff. That was a really cool game, uh, and um, I may put that one on the games of the week maybe. Um, but still, it did did pretty well, you know. Just got got early defense, got some power, have some good late game uh, stunning, and then also rallying there in the late game as well. So pretty cool, pretty cool deck. So Minotaur Reckoner plus Infinite Mind Splitter. So this was a viewer submitted this of wanting me to just build a deck with around those two cards, and that's what we came up with. You can do that as well, um, you know, if you with your donation decks, you can also just have me build decks around a couple of cards. Uh, you know, that's, that's always an option too. Uh, if you don't have a deck, but you, you know, you, you have kind of an idea for a deck and you want to see if, see what it would be like. All right. But anyway, that's it here for Minotaur Mind Splitter. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit the like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you've been having fun with. Um, what do you want to see next meme tier Monday? All that kind of stuff. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.